I want to thank you for joining me today. It's uh, Thursday, March the 25th, 2021. And again, we're starting with Psalm 23, 1 through 6. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Well, we've been talking about restoring our spiritual passion using the book uh, from Gordon MacDonald, that very title. And this week we've been talking about establishing safe places. And we're on the fourth of four safe places that Gordon uh, describes in his book. It is the strong arms. The strong arms of God covering us is the place of confidence because those who know their God shall be strong. Confidence itself is a state of mind and heart that permits a person to act with assurance that whatever has happened yesterday, whatever defeat, whatever failure, that God's going to turn this around for us, that our, he has our best in store for us. <clears throat> the songwriter says it so well for me. I'm sheltered safe within the arms of God. You see, the world constructs places and of amusement, of imprisonment, of violence, of material consumption. Why should we not be just as diligent in establishing and developing safe places where there is the promise of peace and restoration of our spiritual energy? Why not, why not work to establish a safe place where you know God is present with you? <clears throat> I think if you think about it very long, you'll see the genius involved in setting aside on the roadmap of life places reserved only for the restoration of spiritual passion. I want to strongly suggest that all of us set aside important dates during the year. When you start your calendar year, we're going to set aside some dates throughout the year where we reserve one to three days to restore our spiritual passion. We're just gonna meet with God. We're gonna do things that cause us to meet with God. For me, reading scriptures is one of the one of the most important places to restore my spiritual passion. It's me understanding the strong arms of God, God's deliverance, and God's almighty power to carry me through life's storms. For instance, take Jeremiah 32, 17 in the Amplified Bible. Oh, Lord God! Behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and by your outstretched arm. There's nothing too difficult or too wonderful for you. Luke 18 and verse 27 in the Amplified Bible. But he said, the things that are impossible with people are possible with God. Reminders to us in the scripture are, over and over stated to, to us to help us meet right where we're at. This very important understanding of the strong arms of God to take care of us. I believe God wants you to hear this verse today from Isaiah 59, 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not so short that it cannot save, nor his ears so impaired that he cannot hear. I want you to hear that because in the, in the context of the word of God today, we're going to discover the hand, the arm of God is sufficient for us. And the prophet in that context of Isaiah 59 was pointing out the sins, the iniquities of the people and said, we need to turn from them, from all those sins. And he's saying to us clearly, the hand of the Lord is not so short that it cannot save. The reminder is that we're never too far from God, that his strong arms will rescue us from our rebellion and deliver us from every situation in life. 
I want you to be able to pray that over your children and grandchildren. I want you to be able to pray that over friends and fellow employees and neighbors and classmates. I want to ask you this question. How is your confidence in God's ability to make you safe in every circumstance of life? Remember, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Oh, Father, someone today may very clearly need to know that they're sheltered safe within the arms of Christ. They may need to right now feel the presence of your Holy Spirit so strong, holding them up in the storm, securing them in their grief, walking through them in their disappointment. We need this safe place, oh Lord. When all around us, there's so much turmoil and anxiety and fear. We come to you today. We stop our world and say, Lord, have your way. We belong to you. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Thank you for quieting our spirit. Oh, thank you for refreshing over our soul in the name of Jesus. Amen. I invite you to come to Christ today. His arms are open wide. He wants to shelter you under his arms, gather you in his hands, and protect you. You belong to him. Have a great day.